Hey there. Hey. I know this guy loves antibodies. Yep. Uh, Mark, would you be able to tell our fans out there uh, your whole good receptors and bad receptors? Yes, thank you, Zach. Appreciate that. So within the classic antibody discussion, you're going to have this kind of a, an immunoglobulin. This is our whole immunoglobulin. We have an FAB receptor up here. We've got the FC region down here. That's just classic, no matter what we're talking about. But today, of course, we're talking about antivenin. Antivenin, which is French for venom, but it's still what USDA wants you to call it. So, black. you didn't even need that. So within this, this is our very viable uh, antibody, which is in here. So you've never had to thaw an antivenom product, an antibody before. So we want you to take very good care of this because these things here have a job to do this. So this is the business end of it. So that's where the viable, and it's also the science of how we're working with this. But these have got to be able, just put little fingers on there, to grab this hole. What do you think that is? That is our bad boy venom. So that's floating around in your dog, B-O-Y, come on Mark. So that is neutralized by locking onto this antivenom molecule. So it's very unique, it's out there looking for that. As we infuse our antivenom into your dog, it floats around in the bloodstream, it is looking for venom. Some people say, I wonder what we should be doing uh, for a larger animal. It only matters the amount of venom that's in there. So that's what we want to neutralize. So this is the way it should work. A properly thawed product should work like that, neutralizing all of the venom within that bloodstream. However, if we denature, then the antibody suffers and it starts to look like this. And those fingers are half dead and this whole thing is crinkled up and it's, it doesn't have that viability in the bloodstream. So that's bad news. Of course, you're gonna give that kind of a product, and you're gonna give more of it, more of it, more of it, and you're gonna say, it's not working, I don't know what's going on. So that's what the education we're doing here. So we go around, we talk about this denaturization with heat, that's exactly where we're at with it. So we ruin the FAB if we get too hot, gotta preserve that. That's the whole mentality while we're thawing this. If you give the product and it doesn't work, you immediately need to say, number one, call us. I think we've hit that several times because maybe there's other things that have gone on that we didn't catch. Doubtful, we do the potency. But within your own labs, what you have control of back there in the, in the vet clinic, this is what we worry about. And it's very easy to mess it up because this bag has a thin portion right here. If protein is laying next to that and not squeezed, which is an active thaw, if it's not squeezed, it just lays there and it gets hotter and hotter and hotter and denature a product. So if this whole thing is good, but these edges are bad, that could very easily lead to a, um, an ad adverse event of some type. Hives would be responsible for maybe even just a few little proteins being denatured. That's where we're at. That's the education. Be careful when you thought. We want these beautiful um, FAB regions able to grab all the venom that's going through there and to be assimilated into your animal without any adverse events. So that's the story there. Thank you.